All right, folks, we're moving on to the side of the car. There's more salt. And again, you know, if you come from a really bad winter, this car is not filthy, filthy. Um, I just couldn't get the car that dirty. But there's enough salt on it. We'll go to the hood, which has a little bit more caked on. You can tell if I rub my hand on it, you know, there's, there's salt and there's grit, and I really shouldn't be doing that. It's a lease car. I really don't care. So we're gonna, we're gonna do the same thing we did on the back, but I'm just gonna do it a little bit quicker. And I wanna cover like, you know, three panels, the two doors and the back quarter panel in kind of real time and get the car, you know, clean the way you would if you're washing the car and you're trying to make money on the job and not taking too long. So I'll blow out the cracks and crevices, the door handle around the mirror, the seam down around the rocker panel. Then I'll spray some uh, no rinse with the injection system and we'll just come back and wipe it all down. So. I'm just going to work. We have another camera trained on the pressure gauge so you can see real life drop and recovery. And I'm going to work it. You might want to work it longer. I might want to work it shorter and wipe a panel down. Now technique is technique, but with the 240 volt machine, it's allowing you to do more of what you're comfortable to do and be on the steam for a little bit longer. So let's begin. crevices. It's still not the type of machine, still not a pressure washer. We're not using it to rinse the car. Even if I just stop the machine for a second, now it's refilling itself. So as it refills itself, that introduces cold water to the boiler, makes the pressure drop a little bit, but just disregard that. If you're using the machine, just use the machine. It's going to fill and heat as we're talking, and it's probably even recovered. Now I'm going to the injection. I hit my back button. While I'm using the no rinse, the optimal no rinse to spray on the car, it's a little wet. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Back to my injection. Now the pump comes on. Now the injectable cleaner comes through. This is the initial wipe down to get the dirt off the car. You could have probably put the hose down. Underneath the door panel. We would have done the door jams already. A different point of the towel. Now the machine should be recovered. Just recovered. So if this is a winter situation, it's cold outside, you can't use pressurized water. We got the car wet enough, and it stayed wet enough, and we're getting the salt off the car. So if I want just a little bit more here, it's still a little bit dry, well, let's just go back to injection. To the bottom of the finger. Okay, so now we'll come back with a drying towel. Pump coming on to refill the boiler as needed. Come to the back door. Now you're probably going to clay the car. I mean, unless this is just a wash, you're probably going to clay the car and then buff it. 
So you might not need to get it totally dry, but we do want all the salt off the car, which the process has done. Wheels would be another video, another application. Give it a quick look. See how we did. And we're never dropping a ton of pressure. We're always working with a decent amount of steam pressure. That's condensating on the car, which is what we want for the outside of the car. For the inside of the car, just turn it down. So this is the, the, the big advantage is that if you want it coming out dry like that in very low volume, we're just going to turn our dial down. We can get a 240 volt machine to do that. Now, this is where the steam really gets hot. So if you're doing the inside of the car, you just want to fog a window and do a window real quick, we can make this machine do this. Or we open it up, we make the 240 machine do this. Stop. I'd have to wipe that down, but it's going to bounce back and recover. So in the time that I'm going to take to just wipe this panel down, just like that, I'm watching the gauge, and you shouldn't be watching the gauge, but I'm watching, watching, watching. You can see it because the camera's trained on the pressure gauge. As I wipe it down, we've recovered. So we just go on to the next panel. Let's go do something else. <laughs> 